Today's project here at 21st Century, we have a 2017 Lincoln Continental. The speakers are completely blown out. Somehow they just blow the surround right out of them. This one rattles like no other. We're going to put a Memphis component set in it. This is our component set right here. It comes with a 6x9 woofer, a tweeter, and a crossover. So we have to completely gut the door of the audio system so we can install ours. You can see the factory tweeter is up in there. It's going to require some extensive modification to be able to get that out and be able to get our Memphis tweeter in there. Let's give it a start. The factory speaker comes out with four 7mm bolts. There's a plug on top. There's four wires that are connected together on the inside. So you got two inputs and two outputs to go up to the tweeter. So everything's full range on this system, which makes it perfect for using our aftermarket crossover. It comes with a spacer. They don't make a spacer for the Lincoln Continental, so we utilize one off of an Explorer, and it seems to work perfectly. We already did the driver's door. So we're gonna go install that back in the door, mount our crossover, and work on the tweeter. Okay, we have the crossover mounted. We have our woofer mounted. The in would be directly from the car. It comes in and then you got LF and HF. LF is the low frequency, goes out to our woofer. And the HF is the high frequency, which we ran it along with the factory speaker plug for the tweeter. And we have our disconnect, so when you take the door off, it's easy to disconnect. We'll clean that up with some Tesla tape and some zip ties, and then we'll move along to the tweeter. All right, you can see here our 2017 Lincoln Continental. Our left front speaker is a white and white brown. The white is positive. The right front speaker is white with a violet stripe and white with an orange stripe, and the white violet is positive. So the tweeter install is much more complicated. We have to take out those three screws, which are T15 Torxes, and then we have to cut the tweeter out, which on the right side, you can see like a little half H where that bottom screw is. We've got to cut that out to slide the tweeter out, and then we have to cut the tweeter out of that mounting plate that it's mounted in. All right, we removed the screws, and if you can see, I cut that right-hand side out with just a standard Dremel. We cut that right side out and now we can bring the tweeter out. We'll then have to trim all of this, keep that screw hole there, trim this and keep that screw hole there because we need to mount it with that screw hole and that screw hole, but our tweeter is bigger so we need to trim that out again. All right, so after trimming, you can see we opened up that hole. We left those two mounting holes because we have to mount the, the old plate back in there. You can see we have our old tweeter and the new tweeter. Now if we unplug this and bring it up, you could see a, a slight bevel. We're gonna cut it right on that bevel all the way around, leaving just those three mounting holes. And that is approximately how big our new tweeter is. All right. So we cut it out on that bevel, and now we have our tweeter, and if we put the wires through it, we can see that tweeter fits in. Just a little bit of effort, which we want. There we go, it's a very tight fit, but that, that's what we want. We're gonna use a little CA glue. We still have our three mounting tabs. We only need two of them. We're gonna adjust the tweeter, so when we mount it in there, that the Memphis logo is facing right, we're going to go ahead and glue it in. All right, we have our tweeter oriented correctly. Um, we got the CA glue on. It is dry. So then we take it with the Memphis logo facing down. We slide it back in. And then we have our two mounting screws that we'll put back in and the tweeter's mounted factory location using factory hardware. All right, so this thing really rocks once we got it all back together. To put the doors back together or to take them off, there's two screws in the bottom of the door, seven millimeter, 
and there's a 10 millimeter behind the window controls. You do that and it pops right off. Unplug all the electronics, make sure you plug it all back in. When you reinstall the door, can't really see our Memphis logos, but I know they're there and I know they're straight. Um, but this thing really, really rocks. This is definitely one addition that if I had a Lincoln Continental, this is definitely something that I would do to it. So again, Memphis, component six by nines in the front doors. From wires to wraps, we've got you covered. 21st century sound.